in this video, I want to talk just a, a brief couple of minutes about a specific kind of a application of the time value of money. So we want to plan for retirement. So let's think about our current situation. In the past six years, I've been able to save $5,000 in my current 401k. My current salary is $60,000. And I would like to save 5% of my salary on a monthly basis. Um, I'm 25 years old. I plan to retire at 65. My family's history has members passing away at roughly 90 years old. I think that seems reasonable. Currently, I'm earning 11% on my 401k on average. And I expect to maintain that until retirement. At retirement, my returns will probably decrease to around 8% um, due to a more conservative investment strategy. Inflation is of real concern to me, and uh, I want to make sure I take that into account. The historical inflation rate has been around 3%. So the first question is, what will my income be at age 65? If my salary keeps up with inflation, again, at 3%. Well, using the time value worksheet, um, we can calculate this value, right? Present value, I make $60,000 a year. Inflation is 3%. There's 40 years till I retire, compounding once per year for inflation. That means the last year of my uh, work life, I need to earn roughly $195,722 per year. And this is kind of hard to swallow, but with inflation, $195,722 equals, adjusted for inflation, $60,000 in today's terms. So again, we're going to need to make a boatload of money because I need to keep this money. I need to earn this money every year of my retirement life. So what will my nest egg need to be if I live to be 90 years old? I can earn 8% of my inflation uh, on my investments and inflation's 3%. So here... I'm going to receive 195722 for 25 years. 8% is the investment amount. Again, this is annual. Now, without inflation, I'm going to need $2 million to do that. But with inflation, I'm going to need to have a total of $2.7 million in my retirement account at age 65 so that I can withdraw 195722 per year and have it grow with inflation. Sounds like an awful lot of money. Obviously, it is a lot of money. But how can we get that amount of money? If we assume I'd like to save for retirement, including inflation adjustments, I can save at 11%. How much do I need to invest on a monthly basis? Now, don't forget that I also had a current amount in my 401k. So again, in the future, I need $2.7 I have an investment of negative 5 today. Re annual interest rate to 11%. Time, I've got 40 years to get this amount of money. And it's asking me about monthly payments. So the compounding frequency is 12 so to get 2.7 million between now and then, I need $269 a month. That doesn't sound too bad. What if my company matches? If my company matches, I only have to put in $135 a month, right? So again, that is certainly doable. Most people think to get these big amounts, it's, it's impossible to do, and it really is not. So let's ask some questions. 
we stated, right, that you want to save about 5% on your salary for retirement. How does that amount compare to the amount below? Well, again, we said what? You're going to invest, or you need to invest $269.59, and your, excuse me, your, you need to save 5% is $250. So 19 more dollars a month will get you the amount that you need at retirement. So it's just a shade more than 5% is what you need to achieve these goals. So how much would you need to save per month if the investment income for the next 40 years averaged 10%? Well, I don't have that uh, slide right here, but if you think about it, all you have to do is change this 11 to a 10. If you do that, the amount is $387. So you're going to invest $250. You need $387. But let's not forget that your company matches your investment dollar for dollar. So what return would you need to earn to get the amount that we're talking about if you earn 10%? For 40 years, how much would you have to invest if you invest, oh, excuse me, what would be your return if you have to invest 500 a month? That's 250 from you, 250 from your company. It turns out that's 0.77% per month. And roughly, if you multiply that by 12, you need to earn around 19.25%. So if you can average, with the investments that you have right now, if you can average 9.25% on your money, you will make it to retirement exactly the way you predict. So again, that's this video. I hopefully, hopefully uh, it's helpful in having you understand a little bit about time value of money, a little bit about compounding, a little bit about how retirement works. Look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye-bye.